chopsticks, or kuaizi in Chinese, play an important role in Chinese food culture. It is believed the first chopsticks were developed over 5,000 years ago in China. Chinese chopsticks are usually nine to ten inches long and rectangular with a blunt end. They are round on the eating end, which symbolizes heaven, and the other end is square, which symbolizes the earth. This shows how Chinese culture emphasizes the importance of maintaining the balance of food supply between heaven and the earth. Chopsticks are difficult to handle at first, but practice makes perfect. Pick up the first chopstick with your middle finger and thumb. Grip the second chopstick with your index finger. Hold the first chopstick steady, and move the second by moving the tip of your index finger up and down, while the thumb remains relatively steady. There are a few rules of Chinese chopsticks etiquette worth making note of. Playing with chopsticks or making noise with them are considered bad manners. They should not be used to stick through or pierce food. Accept the challenge to pick them up instead. It is poor etiquette to tap chopsticks on the edge of one's bowl, as beggars are believed to make this noise to attract attention. Chopsticks should not be left standing vertically in a bowl of rice or other food, because any stick-like object pointing upward resembles the incense sticks that people use as offerings to deceased family members. Nowadays, besides serving as a daily utensil in Chinese food culture, chopsticks are great gifts for newlyweds. The pronunciation of chopsticks in Chinese, kuaizi, is similar to the words for quick and sun, which means to have babies soon. Since its invention in China, chopsticks have become a staple utensil in many other Asian countries. According to some studies, more than 20% of the world's population relies on chopsticks for eating. Do you find eating with chopsticks challenging? Will you start practicing today? Leave us a comment below and let us know. Thank you for watching. See you next time.